Hello everyone and welcome to Ryan the Lion Video Games for an episode of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Now, uh, the volume's a little loud in my ears, so that hurts a bit. Language, please select in-game language options, voiceover, subtitles, off. Now let's keep them on, just so you can understand. Uh, now this game is basically about it's not a po post-apocalyptic world, I was just about to say that, but um, it's more, well, basically the clues in the title, everybody's gone to the rapture. So, a rapture's happening, and basically your mission or your objective is to find out what's happened to that, um, to for the cause of the rapture, basically. And apparently we're going to find out, hopefully, in this game. This title uses an autosave feature, okie dokie. The emergency may occur with little or no warning. Be prepared to meet any emergency may be key to survival. In case of emergency, stay tuned for important broadcasts. Okay. Uh, please make sure you have the safest environment in the case the emergency may make the difference between life and death. So basically this is what they call a, well, in a sense, a walk around um, simulator. So basically you're walking around, um, there's been quite a few games like this actually on this channel. There's the banishing of Ethan Carter, uh, so kind of similar to, uh, to that. Um, and then other titles, other horror games, you get a lot of horror games that are quite like that. So everybody's gone to the rapture. Here we go. This only just came out on the PlayStation Network today. I never realised it until um, a little while ago. It actually came out this afternoon. I never realised this until only about an hour ago. So uh, that was dumb. But we've got it up and running now. So hopefully we'll get into it in just a bit. This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. So, this is who you'll be basically playing, is Kate. Who's a doctor, apparently. Dr. Collins. Everybody's gone to the rapture. Now I heard the soundtrack of this game is outstanding, as are the visuals. I've not obviously played it yet, but I've, that's what I've heard, so hopefully it lives up to expectation. Look at that, that's beautiful. Very nice. All right, so we start. On this country road. Well, what looks like a country road. Well, it's outside a observatory. What is this across here? Vallas Observatory. Something's inside here, obviously. Oh, that's her again. Shropshire Magazine. County and Ken, Tipworth Hall revisited. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event. 
Oh, so you're not the only one here. So you're listening to Kate on the radio. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. Okay. The answers are in the light. Okay. I'll have a look in this locker. A sponge and towels. What's this? Oh. A reflection or something. Oh. Oh, so you press any button as an action button. It doesn't have to be X. Six, one, four, one, five, one, seven, two, five, two, five, one, six, one, four, one, five. All right. So, I wonder if that's going to matter. I hear a phone somewhere. I wonder what these are. Sagittarius. Scorpius, Aquileus, Aqua. Can't pronounce even half of these. Capricornius, Corneus, Libra. So, what are these stars? Imagine these will be stars then. Tip Tipworth's Forest, Appleton's Farm, Little Tipworth Lakeside, Haverton Waters. You are here, Observatory, Hutton. Hope I'm pronouncing that right, Hutton. So can I run at all or No, this is as fast as I'm going. The visuals are beautiful by the way. From the textures. I hear a phone somewhere, it's like getting louder. Hold on. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Live. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay That's tuned weird. to this station for updates. <clears throat> One, why the fuck is a phone outside sitting on top of a shopping trolley randomly at the side of the road? Two, why would you not want a phone outside your local area? If you, if you had a feeling that a crisis was, ha was happening in the world, you would want a phone family. Surely to God. Hmm. Do you think if it's possible? Holy shit! That wasn't just me, right? I've seen that, right? It's like lights. Yeah, I did see that, look. Right, okay, let's we'll go up there in a second, have a look. Valis. I see my face? You see my face in the mirror? Nope. Nope. Yep. Anything in there? No. The road's blocked off. I can get it through here. So I need to go up here. Yeah, so why wouldn't you want to phone out your local area? Surely to God you would want to phone family and friends and other people that live, you know, far from you. Let's see what this is about. I don't know what I'm doing. Holy oh, crap. I had no idea what I was doing there. <laughs> I'm trying to do my job. Graham. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Steven. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? 
Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. A decade. Arsehole. <laughs> Arsehole. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? Mm. Steven, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. Huh, that was weird. So, Kate and Steven are apparently an item. Property of Valis. Valis? Authorized personnel only beyond this point. I'm not authorized personnel, but hey, I don't give a damn. I'm the only one alive. Okay. It's a bit annoying that I can't run. None of the buttons are letting me run. Nope. Yeah, I can't run. Oh look, another one down here. What are these memories? I take it they're maybe memories. Holy shit. Jeremy. Jeremy, I don't know what that means. Jeremy? Ha! Huh. Random. Haverton Road. I'm going to just check both sides, make sure no one's coming, busy road and all. Ah, okay, well, cross the road. Enough dicking around. Let's go fight Jeremy or whatever this is. Take it, this is what this is called, Jeremy. Whoa! What doesn't help is he can run. Well, I suppose from that oh. we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Balton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. Well, it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Barb, and I'll personally deliver it for you, once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Barb. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Fracking headache all of a sudden. Cracking headache all of a sudden. Yes. Hewton. So it's set in Britain. That much is clear. I just wanted to double check up here in case there was anything else, you know, any documents or stuff. <clears throat> Which I don't think there is. I think it's just the road is closed. And a nice farm. So it's weird. Even. Even animals and stuff are good. Well, no, not all animals, if you think about it, because I could still hear birds and stuff. Thirty miles per hour. Trust me, I'm going slower than that. Do, 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 do. Oh, a telephone ringing? It's a ringing. Drive slowly. Should have tried walk slowly. But it's these pamphlets and a bag. Who's Open that? this door. Hey, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. 
It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. 